Hey guys, it's Victim Raid. I'm just gonna try and get to 4.5 again. But I don't think I'll be able to because of the F8 BIOS and its limit uh, limitingness. So the CPU clock ratio is at 45 for a 4.5 gigahertz overclock. Now you can see my memories all 9, 11, 12, 28, all that's fine. So the CPU V core, I'm going to go to 1.46 volts, which is what I used the first time when I was using the F2 BIOS, which was this stock one. I was at 1.46 volts, and then the DRAM is at 1.65 volts. So that's all fine. Now I'll go into the advanced frequency settings. See so, uh, 45 of the clock ratio, the frequency, advanced CPU core. I don't want that on. Okay, Intel Turbo Boost. I shall turn Turbo Boost off because we're just going for a flat 4.5. Turn off uh, CPU enhanced halt. So disable and also disable um, C3, C6 because well, this is all what I did when I got to 4.5 last time so I, if you guys see anything I've missed if it doesn't get to 4.5 it would be very strange so I just want to check something while I'm in here uh, where do I go for that Yeah, but so I'll make sure it's in AHCI. I know, well, it won't change. I just wanted to make sure I didn't mess with it before. So I'm going to save and exit. So it's... The F8 BIOS takes a while to restart after you change anything. So here comes Windows. So we're back in the operating system. Load up CPU Z. And we'll see what it says. It says 4.5 or 4.2. And it says 4.2 with a multiplier of times 42. So yeah, the F8 BIOS is definitely restricting the overclock I can get. Hopefully um, Gigabyte fix this and make it so that I can overclock again. Or they um, respond to my email about replacing this board with a revision 2 which will fix any of the supposed issues that the revision one had. So yeah, I might as well run a Cinebench while I've got... Uh, while I've got it up at 4.2. But, but, oh, my camera started to fall, but I got that. So yeah, you can see, maybe you can't, I got 13.11 at 4.5 on the F2 BIOS, which was the stock BIOS. Um, and this is the highest overclock that it will supposedly let me get on the F8, so we'll see what it scores. So yeah, just let this run through. It always says it's at 3.2 regardless of the actual CPU speed. The lowest that I've had it score was 10.06, but that's when I accidentally underclocked it. So, let's see what it gets. So I got 12.23 at 4.2 gigahertz, and I didn't explode, I didn't catch fire, and that was a, that would have maxed out the CPU when it was doing that, so, yes, no. So yeah, that, 
that's what the F8 BIOS does and it's very uh, annoying but I don't know maybe they'll fix it so I'm just gonna reset back to default I'll just continue filming that because I might as well uh, I, yes AMD kin I am going to post this on YouTube it's gonna take a while to whoops I missed it oh no did I press the wrong thing <sighs> I must have pressed the boot me <laughs> boot menu instead of the bias So, uh, dun -dun -dun. load optimized defaults, um, memory, extreme memory profile one, otherwise it will downclock my memory, camera's falling again. Restarting, and it will probably do the do the dual post that it does with the F8 BIOS before it actually loads Windows. Yeah, it is. It's dual posting. It only does that when I reset it to default. Well, to optimize default. back into Windows. Here's Windows again. And there we go. Thanks for watching. I'll be uh, uploading another overclocking video for the UD7 once they release the next BIOS revision. Like we're in the next BIOS version, sorry. So F10 or F F9. I'm, I'm F8. So yeah, F9 BIOS. Um, if that ever gets released, or depending on what gigabyte um, email will be back, will be the revision 2 version of the UD7. So, thanks for watching.